Hi everyone, so for today we'll be working on a solution for lab 5 which is inheritance. So in this problem set, what we want to do is to simulate the inheritance of blood types for each member of the family. Each person's blood type is determined by two alleles, and there are three possible alleles, A, B, and O, of which each person has two, which could be of the same or different type. So there are actually nine possible blood type combinations that anyone could have. Before we move on, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button to show your support. Thank you for watching these videos and it always makes my day to see when people are watching, liking or subscribing to the content here. Moving on, what we know is that each of a child's parents randomly passes one of their two blood type alleles to the child. So in this example, the child's blood type is AB. So we can actually represent the child's blood type in an array called alleles, where the first allele, which is allele 0, is A and allele 1 is B. The child would have two biological parents, so again we can represent a parent in an array called parents, where parents 0 represents the first parent, and parents 1 the other parent. Each parent will then have their own array of alleles, so in this case, parent 0's blood type is AB, and the A allele got passed on to the child. Parent 1's blood type is BO, and the B allele got passed down to the child. So for the implementation details, we are told that create family tree should return a pointer to a person with two parents, but each parent also has two parents, so this represents three generations. Each person will have alleles assigned to them which they inherited from their respective parents, with the exception of the oldest generation, where their alleles are actually randomly chosen. Each person should also have parents assigned to them, except for the oldest generation, so in this case, this pointer is represented by the arrows here, where each generation has an array of two pointers, each pointing to a different parent. So let's look at the distribution code and what we need to do. So for this portion here, each person has two parents and two alleles. What it means is that every person that we create is likely to have two parents and two alleles. So for the main function, it actually states that it would first create a family with three generations using create family for that. Then it will print the family tree of blood types and then it will free memory. So what do we need to do? Firstly, for the function create family, we will need to allocate memory for this person. And if there are more than one generation, we will actually add two parents on top of that person. And we also need to set parent pointers for the current person to his or her two parents that we have just created. Then we need to randomly assign the person alleles based on that parent's alleles. If there's no more generations to create, we will set the parent pointers to now and randomly assign alleles since this will be the oldest generation that we have. Then we will create the newly created person. Lastly, we need to free memory. So that will be the base case, parents and child. So these are the 9 items that we need to do. So let's actually start with the first tree. So first, we will actually allocate memory for the new person. And since this is something we have covered in the previous problem set, it should be quite okay for us to follow. So to allocate memory, we actually just need to use malloc size of person. Next, this portion will actually create each parent, which is parent 0 and parent 1 for the current person. So now that the parents are created, we actually need to set parent pointers for the current person. So to set the parent pointer from the current person to parent 0, it will be P with an arrow to parent 0 equals to parent 0. Similar for parents 1, it will be P with an arrow to parents 1 equals to parent 1. So what does the arrow mean? So this arrow operator actually allows access to members of the structure using pointers. Okay? Next, we need to randomly assign the current person's alleles based on the alleles of their parents. So you can see that each person has alleles 0 and alleles 1. To randomly choose, the system needs to choose between 0 and 1. So how do we do this? We can actually get the system to generate a random number denoted by rand modulo 2. But what does this formula actually mean? So what it essentially means is that we will actually generate a random number and divide it by 2 and we will pull out what is the remainder. The random number generated will either be an odd or even number. If it is an even number that can be divided by 2, the remainder is 0. So for example, if the random number generated is 24, 24 modulo 2 is 0. On the flip side, if it is an odd number such as 51, 51 modulo 2 is 1 because the remainder is 1. And that's actually how you randomly choose between 0 and 1, which will then lead you to choose between alleles 0 or alleles 1 of each parent to pass down to the child. So how do we actually write this in code? So you can see that to get to allele 0 of the child, we actually need to access alleles 0 or 1 of the first parent. So this means that to get allele 0, we need to first access parent 0 through the arrow operator, 
before we access that parent's alleles. Likewise for the child's second allele, it's done by accessing the other parent's alleles through the arrow operator. Likewise for the child's second allele, it's done by accessing the other parent through the arrow operator before we further go down into the parent's alleles. So let's put this in C. So we'll start by allocating memory for the new person like what we've discussed using malloc. And then next, I will move on to set parent pointers for the current person. So this will be done through using the arrow that we had discussed earlier. So we'll point parents 0 to parents 0, likewise for parents 1. Next, we will randomly assign the current person's alleles based on the alleles of the parents. So this is where we will get the system to do a random number and then we will divide it by 2 and the remainder will tell us whether we are going for allele 0 or allele 1. So we'll do that for the first allele and the second allele. And yep, so that's pretty much what we need to do for this step. Okay, so now let's work on the next tree. So if there are no more generations to create, we need to set the parents' pointers to now. So simply put, that would be parents 0 equals to now, and likewise for parents 1. Next, we need to randomly assign alleles to the oldest generation. So in the distribution code provided, they already gave us a function called random allele, which shows how an allele is randomly assigned. So to randomly assign the first allele of the parent, it's essentially just allele 0 equals to random allele, and likewise for the next allele. Then to return a newly created person, we just need to return P. So let's put this in C. So we'll set the parent pointers to now, as what we discussed earlier on. So next what we'll do is that we'll use the function that we have below to randomly assign an allele for the parents. Okay, now we want to return the newly created person, so that would just be return P. And that will be that for this section. Moving on, let's work on the last three areas to do, and that will be under the function for free family. So in the lab 5 information provided by CS50, it states that if the input to the function is now, then there's nothing to free, so your function can actually just return immediately. So this means if P equals to now, we just need to return immediately. Then, to free the parents, we will just apply free family to parents 0 and 1. And lastly, for the child, it will just be free P. So let's put this in C. So we'll start with the base case. So if P equals to now, then we'll just return. Next, we will free the parents. And then after that, we will free the child. So let's see if this is a goal. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to compile this. And after that, I will just run it. And yep, you can see that very nicely all the generations are printed out along with their respective blood types. And yep, so that will be that for this section. And there you go, so that is the solution for Lab 5 Inheritance. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it to be helpful, do remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.